how to answer some of your plant questions. And joining me this afternoon, Carrie Angle from Valley View Farms. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Lisa. And hello, plants. <laughs> now, this plant has a bad name. I hate to say it. Cape Primrose is kind of its nickname, but it's called Streptocarpella. Sounds like a disease. It does. It does. It's kind of, it's a Jesneria, so it takes the same kind of care and everything as an African violet. Really easy to re-root. It blooms for a nice long time. Kind of, it's a fun plant. Yeah. A little but, different. But, you know, if it's somebody that you're not too fond of, you could say, hi, I brought you some Streptocarpella. <laughs> That's right. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> All right, let's get some questions. I just brought a, I just bought a four foot tall cactus tree. How should I go about caring for it? Very carefully. Uh, no, main things, you want to let it dry out between waterings. Mm -hmm. Don't ever let it sit in water. But a cactus, especially in the wintertime, can probably go a couple of weeks to a month without water. Um, so I'd make sure I'd give it a good shot now. Um, and then as we get in November, December with shorter days, just back off of it a little bit. But they really don't take a whole heck of a lot. Be careful about backing into it. How big is that thing going to get? I mean, it depends. It's some of the saguaro cactus and everything. I've been out to Arizona. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're up there at like 12, 15 feet. They're, oh. they're incredible. All right. I have a small garden in my backyard, and I'm trying to find some good things to plant this fall and <laughs> winter. Or would I be wasting my time? Fall is absolutely the best plant time to plant things like perennials and trees and shrubs because the ground's still nice and warm. Um, I sowed some grass seed about a week ago. It's mm -hmm. already up. It takes mm -hmm. like two to three weeks in the spring. So good time for that. If you want some flowers, things like pansies will do well through mm -hmm. winter. Mums are about over, but it's a great time to plant perennials, and I know where there are some half price right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are some good things I can do to my garden to make sure it's ready for next year? I am one of the worst. I just <laughs> let it all die and then just wait for some miracle to happen and somebody to clean it up. Yeah, I mean, it depends what you want. Like, if you have a lot of leaves, I usually shred the leaves and I'll put them back into the garden a mm -hmm. little bit because that'll act as a natural mulch cover. And then in the spring, I have to take them out, which is kind of a pain. Okay. But otherwise, yeah. Um, take, do soil pH tests right now. Take some soil into a garden center, they can test it for you or you can buy your own pH kit. Um, and that's great because then the amount of fertilizer and anything else you put is actually working with the plant. If your pH is off, you really are wasting some money. Well, you know what? If pH is going to have to be off. That's just too much work for me. <laughs> bring me, I'll take it in. Just bring a bag in. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. All right. Up next.